Now we're going to go through the installation of your software demo. We're going to show you how to create an account on our website. We're going to show you the machine file that you're going to need to run the permissions for Fibonacci and Triggerline software. Once you've installed this, we're going to show you how to run the installer from our website and then how to sign up for and configure your demo data inside of NinjaTrader. Finally, opening a workspace and setting things up so you can actually start trading. From the NextGen site, to create an account, you're going to go up to the Create Account button. You're going to click this button. And initially, you're only going to be worried about the T3FIBS ProTrader Indicator Package. This package comes with a 10-day free trial. You're going to click Sign Up Now. And that is going to take you into our store. And then once you're into our store, you'll see you'll have the opportunity. And again, I've got a couple other different packages in here. Um, you'll be able to add in the package. This is really the only one that you need initially. T3 Fibs Pro Trader Indicator Package with a 10-day trial. You're going to proceed to checkout. And we're not going to ask for any money right now, but we are going to ask that you fill out your name, address, and set up a payment so when your credit uh, card or PayPal is on file. So at the end of your 10 day free trial, your payments of $2.99 a month will start automatically. Once you actually fill this out, you'll be able to, you'll have an email with a username and password. So you'll be able to log into your account. You can cancel your trial at any time. You can also add on any of the other products that you would like to add on to your subscription. In order to get free demo data from NinjaTrader, you're going to have to visit NinjaTrader.com and you're going to have to sign up for free historical data. So what you're going to do is you're going to, have to put your email in here and what they will do is after they validate your email, they're going to have you sign up for free demo data that they will email out to you and they'll also email out your configuration. Again, they've put this little spam protector in here, so that way they double check and make sure that your email is actually valid. Once your email is validated, you'll be able to download the platform and it's going to ask you, do you want free live market data? You're going to say yes. If you're a Forex trader, you're going to select Forex. If you are a futures trader, which is what we want you to do during your demo time, you're just going to go in and you're going to fill out the data form and you are going to select your country. You're going to tell them that you're not a robot and then you're going to hit submit. Once they actually submit that data, they're going to bring you up to an additional screen where you can download NinjaTrader. Um, right now they're defaulting you to NinjaTrader 8. We don't want you to run NinjaTrader 8 during your demo because they, it's new and they still have bugs in it. So we would prefer that you loaded NinjaTrader 7, which you don't even have to do from this website because we're going to actually do this from our website, our next gen website. Now, you can also download Ninja 7 or Ninja 8. Our software will work with both and you can run them both concurrently with a separate logon for data. After you have signed up for your demo data, they're going to send you out two different emails. They're going to send you out a email configuration, connecting to live data, and a demo logins credential email. The demo login credential email is the one that you really want. Now they limit this to one per email, but if you have multiple emails, you can always subscribe to a second or multiple demo accounts. You're just going to have to use a different email. Save this information right here because we're going to use that when we install our NinjaTrader. All right, once you've created your account on NextGen's website, Two, one of two things, you can have our tech support install your software, which goes much quicker, or you're going to get a file with your name on it and then machine one and a date. And traditionally, this file, depending on your antivirus, will give you some trouble. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to right click. Let's say you have Norton. You're going to have to do a file inside on that. 
And in, when this little file insight comes up, it's going to tell you about your your software right here. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to trust that file. So you'll bring it over, you'll click trust, and then you'll hit close. And then what you're going to do is you're going to run this as an administrator. When it comes up, you're going to have the option for selecting number one for 32-bit, which we're not using anymore. Or you're going to use number two, and you're going to get success. The T3 Fibs Pro Trader is installed. You're going to hit enter, and then that's the end of that portion of the installation. Now you're actually going to go to our website, and from our website, you're going to go to the resources page. And from the resources page, you're going to download this very first 64-bit new installer right here. And when you download this installer, this is actually going to put all of your workspaces, your chart templates, all of the next-gen indicators themselves, and all of the configurations inside of NinjaTrader itself. So let me show you exactly how that's going to go. So you're going to get that file, and with this file, you're going to have to re really repeat the same process. Anything you download off the internet these days, you're going to have to right-click on it with the right mouse click. Go to Properties, make sure you unblock it or else it won't run, and click Apply, and say OK. And then you're going to right-click, and if you've got security, unfortunately, you're going to have to do the same thing, and you're going to have to go in and trust that file. And then once you've trusted that file, then you're going to go in and right click and run it as administrator. And it's going to take you through a process of installing software. It's going to tell you uh, we're going to be loading NinjaTrader 7 for you. It's going to go in and actually download NinjaTrader for you and run through the installer. Then you're going to have to accept the license agreement. And it's also not only the license agreement, but the refund agreement, which means we're not going to give you one after a certain, after you've gotten through your demo period. Uh, so you may want to read through the license. Click next, next, and then install. It'll take you through the installation process, and then you'll be done with software. Now the next step that you're going to do once you're done with the installation of the software is you're actually going to open up Oops, there's one more step, sorry. That's the indicators going into NinjaTrader. And then once that's done, then you're actually going to be able to go in and install, or not install, but actually run your NinjaTrader. So let's go through that process real quick. All right, at this point, you're going to open up your NinjaTrader Control Center. And make sure you open up the 64-bit NinjaTrader icon, not the 32-bit or it won't work. And what we're going to do, remember that uh, username and sign in, we're going to go to Tools, Account Connections, and we're going to add an account connection. And then you're going to say Next, and you're going to call it Ninja Demo if you want. And you're going to click the Connect It Startup button. All right, so let me make it two just in case I have one. So name it anything you want just so you know what it is. Ninja Demo 2. Leave everything else alone, connect at startup, and then hit next. And then remember the username and password that we had. We're going to take, you can actually copy paste the username into here. But, funny enough, you can't actually copy paste in the password. You have to manually type it. If you actually copy paste it in, it won't actually connect. So you're going to be on demo mode. You're going to click next, finish. You're going to say OK to order handling. And then you're going to close that down. Now you're going to be able to go in and file, connect to Ninja Demo 2. And what will happen down here at the very bottom right hand screen, you're going to see connecting will start up. Once you actually see that connected, then you're going to go in and you're going to go to File, Workspace, Open Workspace, and you're going to select your eMini SMP or your eMini Micro SMP, which is MES, and you're going to click Open. And what it's going to do is it's going to open up two charts for you. And these are your main two charts. You can spread them out to your screen. Once, what it's going to happen the very first time is it's going to download data. 
and during the process of downloading data it's going to take a few minutes depending on your connection and then you're going to see it go gray like this and depending on your computer how fast or slow it is this process could take you know one one and a half minutes totally to run the software or it could take three or four minutes if you're running on a laptop one very very important feature is to run a high power profile now if you're unfamiliar with how to do that you can just go in and in your little search bar inside of Windows you can type in power plan and select from your control panel power options and then I've got obviously a lot of different power plans but you're going to be able to go in and traditionally Windows will just have a high performance plan select the high performance plan and then close it down what that's going to do is if you, especially if you're on a laptop laptops are designed to save battery uh, so your CPU your computer processing will only run at 5% uh, we want that to run at 100% at all times. Once you actually have done that, now you've got your charts nice and easy. You'll be able to start trading. The one thing you're going to have to do before you start trading is set up stops and targets um, because you're not going to have any automated trade management strategies by default. So in order to do this, click the three dots. And since we're going to trade two micros, what we want to do is we want to trade... Uh, we're going to make a custom strategy. We're going to have two contracts. We're going to set up two targets. So what we want is one contract on the first parameters and one contract on the second parameters. You're going to set up your stop loss for 12 ticks, which is three points. They trade in quarter quarters, so technically that's three points. And what we're going to do is we're going to set our first profit to 16 ticks and we're going to set our second profit to 22 ticks. So what you really want is you're trading two contracts with a 12 tick stop each, one profit target with 16 ticks and one profit target with 24 ticks. Now you're going to, it's not really intuitive, so you're going to have to put your mouse right here and right click manage the ATM strategy templates and you can call it two lot MES demo or you can name it anything that you want um, and you're going to really have the ability to set up a bunch of different templates depending on what you want to do now in order to place a trade it's really easy you just right click over here and there's our two lot demo MES and to actually execute an entry all you're going to do is you're going to take your chart, and I'm doing a little scaling here. Hold down the control button, and you can make the market go up and down. You can make it go side to side. If you don't hold the control button, it'll shrink up or spread out. Um, so depending on how you like your chart, you may look like this. To place an order, and again, it's the weekend, so there's no live data. You simply put your mouse where you want to buy the market, right click on your chart and click buy limit to at and it will place your limit order for you where you want to buy now if you need to adjust this limit order it'll show up on both screens either your large chart or your small chart and effectively this is exactly what you're looking for you're looking for your triggers to go up you're looking to place a buy order at the spot and in effect, what we're looking for when we do any of our trades, which we'll get into the trades in this next video, we're looking for the market to come down and retest support and then ultimately trade back up into resistance. And that's it. Once you're actually filled, it'll generate a stop order of 12 ticks. Remember, it'll generate a profit target of 16 ticks and 24 ticks. And you'll be able to move your stops and your targets the exact same way you can move an entry order simply by clicking on the line and moving it up and down and the idea is that we want to buy low so we're going to buy when we get back to a perfect area anticipating that the market's going to go up which we'll cover obviously in a rule section now once you are done with your ninja trader for the day
if you don't want all the drawing objects on there you can go to the pencil and remove drawing objects and say OK and really one of the more important things for you is to make sure you don't have any orders working before you close your position so you can cancel your orders there or you can just click on the X and then you're going to go to file workspace close workspace and then that way it'll close the workspace before you close ninja then you'll close down your ninja and what will happen let me just show you real quickly since we configured our data to start automatically when Ninja Trader starts, what will happen the next time, since we've already configured it, is that when Ninja Trader comes up, it's going to automatically connect to our work to our data feed. And then once it's connected to our data feed, we want to then open workspaces. And you don't really want to leave your workspaces open because what will traditionally happen with new users is they'll open three or four or five different workspaces accidentally forget to close them all and the initial opening of your charts will take about 10 or 15 minutes because you've got 10 workspaces open so the key is close all your workspaces close ninja open ninja open workspaces